that, get it that, put it that, put it that Six shots, make him get back All that chit chat, chit chat, chat riff rap, riff back My nigga taking it back Nigga talking top of here, no shit I got like 50 rounds of Vinny's clip If I don't with you, nigga, I'll be the fifth uh, Cause mommy still call up a kid, nigga Shout out like, F it, give me a bit uh, I'm like, nigga, fuck me, bitch The judge like, why you acting like a dick? I said I'm moving like I'm eating dick like I'm like, I'm Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is What If Naruto was Muzan. Yes, I know, it's supposed to be a Dexter What If, but because you guys gave me so much more on the next video, on the last video, I decided to bring you guys back with a next part of the What If Naruto was Muzan series. Now, before we get into this, I have nothing to say. That's just, someone, that's just something people usually say. But, you know, the YouTuber mindset, bro, keep grinding. Sigma rule number 10,069. Grind YouTube till you can't grind YouTube anymore. Anyways, let's get into it. We start off with Naruto after just entering the classroom from admitting his bloodlust in the last episode. We just we start off with Naruto and he's sitting back in the classroom. The team shall now be picked. So, the team shall be picked starting from Team 7, Kurenai. Now, you guys may be shocked by this. Kurenai? What? Not Kakashi? I'm doing this because first Sasuke was originally supposed to be a Genjutsu main. So, for that and for Sasuke because Sa so Sharingan's really overpowered within Genjutsus. And if you look up a tier list for who is the strongest Genjutsu user, it's mostly... No, it's just all Uchiha members. That's why it's I have Sasuke um on the team for Team Seven. Well, yeah, I'm still making it Team Seven, but Team Seven would be Kurenai, Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura. From there, Kurenai would actually be there, taking their team and bringing them upstairs. Well, not actually, not not actually upstairs. She would bring them outside to the little um, sit down place, you know. After from bringing them outside to somewhere they can just sit down and talk. She would introduce herself that she is a strong Genjutsu user of the Leaf Village. And she, that she has heard that Sakura is here to become a Genjutsu main. But she would remark that she does have incredible strength and probably shouldn't go for it. But with Genjutsu and having incredible strength like that, you can really do some damage. But she's most interested in training Sasuke as Sasuke does have the Sharingan. And the Sharingan Genjutsus, it just amplifies everything. So, she's happy with that. But confused, but kind of skeptical. This is the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Has been seen to be a strong person, but can be trusted because, well, he's a Joning ninja. He's just been sent to a, you know, smaller team. Anyways, they'll all just greet each other. Sasuke talk about how he wants to kill somebody. Naruto say, hmm, I don't really have a goal for now, but my previous goal was to become the Hokage. I won't share everything, but that's all I should say. But you should know my name is Naruto. And I do like ramen, no cap. Anyways, from there, Kunai decided to bring out everybody onto. I'm sorry for moving, I'm sorry for moving, I'm sorry for moving, I'm sorry for moving it. So then, Kunai would bring everybody onto the training field that she decided, alright, let's do a little bell test, you know. Get these two bells from me. Because it's two of you guys, you guys are getting two bells, but yours will only be two bells anyway. But still, Sakura and Sasuke. I won't be making Naruto help you guys, because he's already passed, and he already knows the secret of this exam. So now, come at me with all your power. Come at me with all your strength, not power. Bad grammar. Anyways. I'm sorry. Anyways. From there. Sakura and Sasuke would then rush at um, Kurenai. From there. They would throw a couple punches, you know. But she would dodge them. But what, Sa what Naruto doesn't know is that they're already under Kurenai's Genjutsu. When she had her hand behind her back earlier. She's already cast it. Though Naruto was easily able to dispel it. That surprised Kurunai though. Because she doesn't really know that much about Naruto. Or spent enough time. Only Kakashi has spent enough time with Naruto. Surprisingly he has not been placed on his team. Knowing that there is a Uchiha member here. Wouldn't 
Kakashi should be able to be more fit for that position. Ugh. She disregards that. As they're already under a genjutsu. Dominating them, actually. But still, let, still she will let them to deceive them to think that they have an advantage at one point. But tricking them with Sakazushi Jutsu. Naruto would pull up, knocking both Sakura and Sasuke out the genjutsu, saying, You realize that you guys have not been hitting her at all, right? What, what, what do you mean? But then they look at Kurenai as she's still there. What? But! <laughs> Sasuke, Sakura, you guys have been playing their Jutsu. Have been doing nothing to me. But, no, what? Ugh. Sasuke, out of rage, would launch a fireball Jutsu at Kurenai, but she would just immediately just dodge it. Throw a couple of Kurenai at Sakura and Sasuke. Sakura would basically, with her man strength, would block these kunai and kunai and um, shuriken flying at them. So Sakura and Sasuke would then jump into the forest, but Naruto would dispel the Genjutsu again as at least give him a chance, alright, kunai? I don't know that much about you, but you still talk to me normally. How about we have a little duel while they think about their plan? If we have a duel, it'll just end up in your defeat and lots of pain. I don't know if you want to go through that, but I can give you an example. Naruto would unleash his bloodlust, not holding it back or anything. Once he would do that, Kuro and I would fall onto the floor vomiting. As this kid, he's powerful. Well, I I should actually age him up, but I don't really know. He's just being, he's just much taller, you know, a young Jonin type beat. Anyways, so Naruto would go back watching as Sakura and Sasuke just watched what happened. The bloodlust that Naruto produced was crazy, but they still not must lose hope. So from there, they rush over at Kunai. It's still kind of sick from the bloodlust Naruto has released. And from there, they start attacking. Sakura punching the floor, trying to at least break do it just for Snarl's Sasuke advantage, but she's not at that point in strength just now, just yet, I mean. Sooner or later, they would somehow get the bells just from Naruto manipulating his bloodlust to help him at least. She did say teamwork, and that's what they did. So Kunai would then pass them. Alright, um, I will be reconning his age and aging up to 16. Because I want him to be a bit taller, and for some other reasons that I have planned. So, Naruto would be 16, and he's much taller. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, from there, Naruto would watch as Team 7 is, well, Team 7 is rejoicing as they were finally able to get the bells. From there, Team 7 would be dismissed as Naruto would go over Hakukuna, you know, like, hmm. That Genjutsu, you got some really good Genjutsu powers, but you're unable to withstand my bloodlust. Well, you did it. Yes, you did it right there on the spot. I didn't expect it. Huh, as a Journey Ninja, you should always expect the unexpected. That's kind of sus if I think about it. Well, ciao. And Naruto would body flicker away. Well, somewhat like a body flicker. Though it's not the actual one, it replicates it. It would be nighttime, and Naruto decided to go to each rock ramen shop. From there, he would pop to the shop and I'll sit down and try to get a bowl of ramen, you know? If each rock would come like, yo, Naruto, you, you, I, I saw you earlier, bro. You got the girl blushing, I see you. What do you, what do you mean? Bro, you didn't, I saw you yesterday this morning? I mean, this morning? Bro, you got the teachers blushing at you? You got your teacher? You got your, you got your sensei blushing at you? I see you, Naruto, I see you. What, what 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 do you mean? I don't understand how you made her throw up, but like that's not, that's not my concern. Like I see y'all talking, I see you busting at her. I I, I see, but you say, I see you, but going, I see you, I see you, Naruto. You go, you going hit, bro, bro, whoa, 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 <laughs> bro. You gotta do it one day, bro. Yeah, it is what it is. You see, I'm not gonna hit because. I'm the V card wizard. I'm never gonna hit, and I won't hit. 
All right. Yeah, I'm because I'm trying to become the V card wizard. If you save your V card enough, you can become a wizard. You know, I'm trying to get that power. No cap. That's what Moodle Heart said. And um, you know, I'm I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get that. You know, I'm trying to get that. You know, you know what I mean? All right, all right, bro. Guys, get my ramen, please. I got you, and look like your girlfriend here. The white boy, you like, why don't you go talk to her, bro? Why don't you go talk to her? Bro, you're hitting me out. Stop. <laughs> go talk. Or you're not getting your food. All right. Naruto will then get up and, you know, be like, hey, Kunai. Kunai wouldn't walk up to her and say, hey, Naruto. You know, they'll sit down and chat, you know. Like, I saw you bless at me early when I left. You kind of feel something. Aha, <laughs> aha. And I'm illegal. <laughs> oh, stop you. That's my student. You know, I'm not trying to get into the dis- explicit details of, of them flirting with each other. So, you know what? You just gotta skip to it, my god. Like, if you want to skip this, Gene, I suggest you skip like two, like a hundred seconds, or I'll put like a timestamp on the screen because things about to get too explicit. Anyways, so then Naruto would bring her back to the crib, his cleaned up crib. And from there, you know, uh, from the seduction process, he he laid the pipe with Kuro and I, no cap, okay. Um, the explicit scene over. Oh, welcome back, gamers. Um, yes, uh, welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Anyways, we're back, guys. We're finally back. Let's continue the story. After that night with Naruto, Kuro and I would rush home. Well, Naruto wake up, waking up Kunai as Kunai would take her clothes up and rush home as today, you know, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta do their missions, you know, they, they just became ninjas. Anyways, you know, when the day started, Kunai will be rushing at Naruto because of what happened last night. And then from there, they will start doing missions around the village. Sooner or later, Team 7 will got bored like, bro, I don't want to do this anymore. We've been doing the same thing. Catching a ninja cat. That's so boring. I'm trying to do something fun. This ain't it, Chief. All right, all right. I got, I could go to Haruzen. He probably got something. Better. I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Haruzen will just pull up to the office after seeing Kakashi's team pass by saying, Hey, hey, cool night. Oh, hey, Kakashi. I'm surprised you didn't get Team 7. Yo, he, he's a Uchiha. Well, it is what it is. There's a mission inside. I'm not letting my team get it because they're just kind of too weak. Or they just need more training. And um, I would let them, but like I don't really see it. Well, hope your team gets it then. Alright then. So, Kakashi's team will walk away as they enter into the room. Who was with his head down? Like, oh, alright, who is it? Oh, Team 7. Perfect. That's the strong combatants I needed. I need you guys for a C rank mission. For an escort mission. An escort mission C rank. Uh alright then it looks that's something good. Yes, Naruto. It, it's something good, alright. Now it's just a, he's a bridge builder for the men, so you just need to um escort him, you know. Oh, alright, let's do that then. Anyways, from there they would leave us. Alright. Positive looking around, like, okay, okay. Uh, two joining, two getting. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my gosh. Let, can we just do the mission? We don't care. How you feel? All right. But you know, I might go through a little midlife crisis because you guys kind of, I don't know, man. She, for, she rushing at you. You must have did something last night. I won't get into such details, but like, can we go now? So, Gonna end up leaving. Once they were just walking, Ku and I wouldn't notice that. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. There's a Genjutsu over there. So Naruto would just walk over, but the Demon Brothers have already jumped out because she realized that it's there's a Genjutsu. So they're like, you know what? Let's just take it head on then. As soon as they try to rush over, Naruto would book it at book it at them from there, grabbing one of their heads and crushing it right in front of them. Kuro and I would have probably be like, all right, I understand why he was so rough last night. He's strong. <laughs> I 
I'm just waiting for me so I can say I'm, that that's what she said joke sooner or later. But you know. Anyways, from there, Naruto, we go to the bar and say, Oi, speak up if we want to your brother. But you aren't going to the same place. Actually, you guys are. Once they're done with you. Hey, yo, bro, chill, 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 chill. All right, we'll be talking about this new guy, Gato, to assassinate the bridge builder. You know, and that's it. Fair enough. Naruto will then move his hand at supersonic speed, flashing the dude's head in half. Like an anime, when Muzan uses his hand at super flash speed, supersonic speed, well, through a super fast speed, slashing the back of that one dude's neck. In anime, remember? Anyways. Anyways, Team 7 moves along. Sooner or later, they'll get met with a mist, a heavy mist at that, covering the entire area. Kuro and I were to first think this is a genjutsu, but then realized, wait, this is a regular ninjutsu. But then she would sense a flying object flying towards Team 7, telling them to duck, but Naruto would catch the blade with his bare hands, breaking it in half. It would take a bit force because, you know, it's daylight. But, <laughs> he's in the mist now. And as long as something's covering the sun, anything's possible. So from there, Sabuze was like, Oi, give back my blade. And I promise won't to kill you guys. Only after one person. Don't think it's you guys involved, don't we? Sorry, man. I got a mission, so you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. All right then. But Kunai was in Russian, instead of Russian, with a kunai in hand, rushing at Zabuza, trying to play some more like jitsu. The first one would miss at first, but then the second one would hit, and the fight would somewhat continue. But Kunai would have an advantage due to Genjutsu, but Kakashi and Zabuza during their fight was actually much stronger. I. Kinkashi is definitely most, one of the strongest joining ninjas in the Leaf Village. So Kunai would have a hard time even if I tried to buffer in any case in this fight. So Naruto would be forced to jump in to assist Kunai within this fight with hand to hand or uh, hand to hand. You know what I mean? Kunai, hand to hand, I, whatever, ionization, you know, okay? Whatever that, yeah, 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 okay? From there, because well, they're both Gen versus one. Like, he's like, no, nah, Zabuza's not Kage rank, Kage level, but he's just like joining plus two joining plus no two joining versus a joining plus. So the fight would go, mm, it was one sided, but now it's like it kind of evened out. Not at no, actually, they got they got the dub in the bag. Let's be honest now, if something's covering the sun, anything's possible. So, Naruto, <laughs> he, he's about to go all out, but you know, but he, he just going up the power scheme a bit. See how strong this person is, and see if he's usable, if you know what I mean. From there, they would be able to take down Zabuza, as he's pretty weak right now. Kurunai's pretty beat up, but it looks like Naruto hasn't taken any damage from that. Huh. But it's just been regening to nobody's surprise. But soon, a couple of Senbon will fly into Kurunai's neck, leaving her um, unable and falling to the floor into Naruto's arms. From there, Team 7 will be forced to retreat as, well, Kurunai is basically down and that's kind of bad. And a missed tracker ninja has taken the body of Zabuza. There's Naruto like, oh, that's a mistracking ninja, all right then. But then I was like, wait a minute. I don't know, man. How is it so convenient that the Senbon flew in, hit Kun on the neck, and then a mistracking ninja appeared? Hmm, maybe it was to stop the death of Zabuza? But we were just staring at him, not sure what to do, though. Aw, uh, he was weak, but he still had the power to fight. Doesn't mean that we were to kill him now. That makes no sense. All right then. I'll keep an eye out. So, Tazna will suggest, oh, come back to my place, you know? So, when they get to Tazna's place, Tarn, whatever, Tazna's, um, daughter is Tazani. 
I I don't know how I forgot his daughter's name. All right. Because Kunai is basically passed out, you know, Naruto's like, bruh, come on now, don't do this to me. He would basically train Sakura and Sasuke as he's teaching them how to wall run, you know, helping them train in hand-to-hand -hand combat, helping Sakura mostly with that gorilla beast strength of she has, you know, making her fight him type beat, you know. It would be hard at first, but till someone get used to it. But they just feel excruciating pain by getting bodied by Naruto. Because, like, he's just too strong, bro. He's, he's like, one, he's one comboing them, bro. Once he hits them once, like, look at, from Sasuke's um, POV, right? Once Naruto hits them one time, it's all over. Once Naruto hits them one time, he goes on a ramping combo. With super fast, super fast speed, just hitting at Sakura or Sasuke. Pretty annoying, too. No cap. I should have said hating at their opponent instead of saying Sakura or Sasuke, but that doesn't matter now. Anyways, from there, Kunai would wake up well went outside seeing as um, Naruto has already trained them both. And they've seen that they've got pretty better. They got better at their chakra releases. Well, not no, not chakra releases, their chakra control. I was thinking about training... I mean, I was thinking about teaching, um, well, helping Sasuke with his fireball release, but it didn't seem necessary. So Kunai would then come over to teach Sasuke, well, like, basically some basic genjutsu, you know? Helping out Sasuke to learn some genjutsu that he can use later with in the future. And once he unlocks that Sharingan of his again, he can use, use his genjutsu to even higher extents to even probably make it his own. Though Kunai is not a Uchiha or had the Sharingan, just can we imagine what it like having the Sharingan with more like having powerful Genjutsu? So like every powerful Genjutsu user stems from the Uchiha clan. Pretty amazing in her eyes, no cap. From there, it's, ugh, Team Seven will then leave the next day with Tazuna, but before they do. Naruto would take out the bandits that he sends over a mile away with their short, tiny, puny, killing intent to attack Tazna's family. <clears throat> my goodness, what the heck happened to my throat just now? Anyways, guys, from there, they would dip out to the village. Not the village, the mist bridge. From there, Naruto, he'll be waiting for them as both this mysterious ninja from tracking miss tracking ninja mask on and Zabas would appear all right kid <laughs> this time I, I won't be using this mist of mines <sighs> but now i need clear sight just to kill you even though he wouldn't use the mist the area would still kind of be misty misty so this wouldn't really matter that much but Naruto's not his full strength type B. Like half from nerf, okay? Anyways, from there they would go into battle as Kurunai would be battling Haku with Sakura and Sasuke would be battling Zabuza. As of course for um ah. for him in the background like, you know, you're talking and then you forget the dude's name. That's kind of tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie. For him, um, he'll be just be standing there in the background, you know. Like, like, but like, bro, someone's here. Help me. Nobody's really protecting Tazna right now. So he's like, he's just gonna be there. Like, you know, just if someone try to pull up on him, he's gonna scream out for help. And the battle would continue. Sasuke and Naruto having, you know. Uh, not, okay, there's Sasuke somewhat, and I say only somewhat able to compete with Naruto in speed, but not actually. Sooner or later, fighters would switch Haku with Sasuke, Naruto, and Zabuza with Kurunai, and of course Sakura with the gorilla strength. Sooner or later, Haku would have to resort to the demon mirrors. Because that's the overwhelming power of Naruto's strength. From there, she would re he would release them, piercing Naruto. But seeing we have no effect. But mostly Sasuke though, 
as he'll get pierced multiple times within the arms and arms and arms and neck and whatever, etc. Through the extreme amount of pain, Sasuke would then unlock his Sharingan and do one of the Genjutsu that Kunai taught him. This would somehow catch Haku and make him, like, you know, just stop for a second and then breaking out of the Genjutsu. From there, Naruto would decide to break out, break these Genjutsu just by punching the floor once. From there, he used use his demon art. A uh, barbed wire type thing would, well, okay, barbed wire th type thing would then come out from Naruto's body, grabbing onto Haku, squeezing tightly. Sooner or later, more barbed wire would come out of Naruto. Like in a Tokyo Ghoul st fashion style, you know, when you read their Kagune. From there, Naruto then pierced through Haku with this power. Sasuke wouldn't see this because he's right now on the floor in pain. And after that, Naruto would then pick up Sasuke and basically bring him to Tazuna. As Tazuna, with somewhat of medical experience, would take the needles out of um, Sasuke and patch him up. Even though he's not that really good at it, he just takes him out. Wrap a bandage around them, put some alcohol in it, and um, yeah, from there on, he would go to help Kunai. That seems to have Zabuza on the ropes, but not really, though he has been weakened from the fight he had with Naruto. But as soon as Naruto came in, it would have been complete lapse, as both Zabuza and Haku would die at that very moment. And Team 7 would head back to. Ah, I forgot his name again. His house to basically rest her up, rest up, and then head back to the village the next day. And crew and I would say, thank y'all for watching, like and subscribe, and yeah, see y'all the next time. Peace.